Well, hello, YouTube. My name is Justin Titus. This is basically going to be a first time run at making a video to see if this is something I'm going to even enjoy. Something I've wanted to do for a while. Uh, this channel is going to be called The Adventures of Vinny Buffarino. Um, basically, this channel is going to follow me on my journeys with all of the really kick ass uh, car people here in Wichita, Kansas. Uh, follow me in my journeys of my limited scope of knowledge as far as working on cars, what's cool, what I think isn't cool, um, the people that I'm around that I think are cool and not cool. You know who you are. Um, 65 Coupe de Ville that I've had since about August and I plan on doing a lot of really cool stuff too. I'm going to make a lot of videos on how to this, how to that, how not to this. Um, I'm going to follow some of my friends around that know exactly what they're doing. Um, I'm going to possibly do a detail video series where I show you guys how I incorrectly detail cars. Um, basically, I expect these videos to be uh, what not to do if you're messing with vehicles. Um, I'm going to do it, but I would suggest you don't. Um, yeah, and we'll go from there. I'll uh, take you for a walk around this here pig that I've got up my sleeve, what I'm going to be doing. All right, good. So here we go. Let's check it out. 65 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Picked it up in August. Went down to Tulsa. Drove the car back from Tulsa. I made it. Uh, got back. It had started warming up on me. About halfway point, it wouldn't cool down. Uh, dug into it and found out that she needed a radiator. So the first thing that happened was she got a radiator right out of the gate. Cost me about 900 bucks to have everything done as far as the radiator goes. These things are not cheap. You guys may or may not know that. Uh, if you run into the situation, uh, stock radiators for these are ex extremely expensive due to the brass. So I went ahead and went aftermarket, went four core, blah, blah, blah. Um, shortly after doing that, cut the springs on it because you know these cars are way too tall from the factory so chopped them off uh, those are not 60 or 65 Cadillac wheels those are actually off of a 53 those have those really sweet ass hubcap trim clips you can see in there real good uh, these will take the sombrero caps which I don't have because I'm poor anyway cut the springs got her low because this car is going to get bagged shortly after the first of the year uh, after I got done chopping the springs on this, I started stripping it and I stripped her down pretty good. I did everything by DA and I went through 240 sheets of six inch stick it 80 grit DA paper. It sucked. And that was not doing the roof. The roof has actually got some kind of a bed line around it that I'm going to be stripping off here pretty soon because we're going to do a really cool candy flake pattern, slow rider style paint job on the roof. Um, leaks everything but oil, including antifreeze, even though I got a radiator in it. And I got a, I believe the water pump's leaking. So we'll take care of that soon, the water pump part. We'll go ahead and let her leak all the other fluids because, you know, it's healthy. So here's our roof. It looks pretty rough. I got things like that. That's not rust. That's bubbles. We'll take care of it. The car's unbelievably straight minus some hail dents. There's no rust in the body at all. I'll post in some pictures here to show you what it looked like getting stripped. But uh, this is basically, in a nutshell, this is what I'm dealing with. So, Primaries, Wichita, Kansas. Coolest car club in the state. Some might disagree. That's the car. That's what we're going to be working on throughout the videos. I'm gonna enlist the help of some really cool guys, like I said. Uh, I'm a finished guy. I don't do suspension very well. I can fumble through it. Um, not that great of a body man. I'm definitely not a mechanic. I've got friends that are. So I'm hoping to pull in some really cool people, like I said, from here around Wichita, Kansas, and hopefully showcase some of the talent that's coming out of this town. We've got a pretty amazing car scene in, in Kansas. So um, I'm hoping to do some interviews, do some car showcases so you guys can see, you know, 
the custom culture scene, basic mainly in Wichita. Uh, I know guys in every facet of the car scene here in town, but you know most of the most of the stuff I want to want to try to bring a little bit of a, a light to are going to be the the old school stuff, the drivers, the stuff that's rough and rusty and oily, and you know basically the coolest stuff in town. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys will. You know how it goes. Like, share, subscribe, smash the like button, put the, hit the little bell so the bell rings whenever you're, you know, after I post my video at 2 a.m., you know you can wake up. You got, a lot of you guys know you take mid, midnight dumps. So, I'll give you something to watch. You can look at this face. Um, yep. Yeah. Do it. Thanks for watching the Adventures of Any Bufferino. I'll uh, see you next time on another installment of uh, Project Curtis Lowe. We'll see you next time. Bye.